going to do a quick update on where I am on the progress of Interstellar Frontier. So here I am, uh, camera view outside of the ship. Um, I've done an update to the ship, so I've changed this top deck here, changed the engines, and the uh, the whole back, the reactor area is different. Um, I've also added all of the weapons and a hangar bay to the ship. Um, I'm here in orbit of a yellow star, and I'm pretty close to it, so there's a lot of like glare. Um, I'll be moving on to a planet in a second, so you'll see some different effects here. Uh, but I want to go ahead before I do that and open up the uh, hangar bay. And I'm just open this UI element here so I can open up the hangar. I'm going to actually render the six uh, shuttles or fighters, I'm not sure which it'll be yet, uh, in the hangar. So you'll be able to see them launch. Um, I've got the shields working. I'm really happy with these shields. When you turn them on, you get kind of a pulsing shield effect. That will periodically run, um, so you know you have them up, and you can actually see the shield power indicators here. Let me go ahead and shut those off. I also can turn on and off all the weapons on the ship now, and there are visible indicators on the model, so you can see what's on and off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and turn on the star drive, and we're going to move to a planet. So I've got some new lighting effects here. As the reactor heats up, you'll see the the uh, this change here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna move forward. I'm not in star drive yet, but I want to show the engine effects as you're just flying around in normal space. And now I'm gonna activate the star drive. You can see the warp effects. And we're moving now. We're on our way to a planet in this same system. And I can see that because in the navigation panel, I can see that I'm here, and that I am. Uh, I can actually see where I'm moving. There's a little white triangle here moving towards the planet, so I know where I'm going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run to that planet, and while I do that, I'm going to show off the interior view of the ship. So I'm sitting in the command center, the bridge, cockpit, whatever you want to call it, um, and I'm flying in like a first-person view now, and I'm approaching those planets that we saw on our map here. And I'm going to give a quick look around in the command center. I've got a few crewmen standing around. These are base models. They don't have animations yet but I'll show at the end of this video where I am on the animations uh, these are here for scale so you can kinda see how big everyone is and you can see out the windows all the way around the bridge uh, I'm gonna go back to my actually I'll just fly in uh, in this view here so we're gonna speed up and head towards this planet and I'm gonna slow down as we come into proximity to it we'll take a look at this planet here a lot more clouds on it than I wanted. I wanted to kind of show off uh, the surface features, so I might run to another one. Um, but I've got some rings. I've got, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the drive so we can look at this for a second. Um, I've got lighting effects from the star actually affecting the color of the planet and the rings now. Um, I'm going to move to the other side. You can see we're now in kind of normal space. We're not in warp anymore, so we can look around and there's some stuff here. There's a ship over there and a jump gate. So I'm going to jump uh, or fly over there and check those out. Um, there we go. Same model I'm flying, same ship. Uh, but I've got collision detection working, all that good stuff. So we're getting close to uh, starting the combat system. Uh, all the groundwork is laid for that. So things are going really, really good. Uh, I hope to have some more to show soon. Um, I think I'm going to end things here with just a quick flight to the other side of the planet because I really like the way they look from the back there with the, the light shining through the atmosphere. And I'm going to get close too so you can see the scale. So we're flying now towards the planet. This is our lowest star drive speed. And you can really see the normal maps on the, the planet. Um, you can see how they are affecting the lighting as we pass. Makes it look 3D because that's actually just a smooth model. And I'm going to stop it here behind the planet and zoom out so you can kind of see scale. And those ships, the ship and the star drive are kind of flying with me at this point. That's, uh, that's intentional. Get a look at the nebula in the background here. Let's 
see if we can get an idea of scale here. So we're pretty close to the planet, and you can see the light as the star kind of casts light over this uh, the atmosphere. You can see difference in luster with the water and the mountains. Really, really happy with the atmosphere effects on the planets and the dark side in particular. Uh, you can also see I've got some motion particles so you can see which direction I'm flying. Uh, so even with the star drive off, you can see where you're going. Kind of get an idea for the motion. And uh, that's about where we're at at the moment. Um, there's more to show soon. I've got a lot of things I've started with like weapons control. And I've started working on things like uh, power control, things like that. So a whole lot to see coming up here. Thanks for watching.